We need something that is configurable, but also still specific. And this is what we found in PriceFX. My name is Tim Kuhlmann. I'm team lead pricing operations at Trägerwerk AG. So my responsibility is supporting our global organizations in setting the right prices. The price itself is not my responsibility, but making sure that all the environments and all the tools are in place. Draga specializes in medical and safety equipment. So this is a lot in the broad portfolio. We basically focus on intensive care equipment and safety devices involving gas detection systems and breathing apparatuses. We started using PriceFX, I think, in 2018. So that's at least the first time we thought about this. And we had several iterations, so it should be four years by now in different builds and functions, but four years in summary. We have a global complex organization and this organization is uh, self-sufficient. So each part of organization is responsible for their own business. This led to a lot of pricing solutions, mostly in Excel and mostly subpar. And we realized from a global perspective that we need one tool to cater still all needs. So we needed something that is configurable, but also still specific. And this is what we found in PriceFX. And also where well, PriceFX enabled us to do a lot of the configuration ourselves, uh, which other companies uh, uh, involving price management did. We looked at several software providers and we looked for something that we could also put a lot of effort in ourselves so because we have a team focusing as I said on pricing operations and this team should be enabled to do a lot of configuration and a lot of specifics themselves. So we were looking at a wide variety of solutions for different countries in our organization and this is what we found with PriceFX. Currently, we are using PriceFX for list price management only, and this is also will stay that place in the future, probably for the short and midterm. Um, we picked PriceFX for this purpose because we do have other tools in place, mostly self-developed, but list price management is our global functionality that we needed in one box and with a global overview. The first step, basically what we gained is a lot of transparency, and I think this is always the first step in that journey. Afterwards, we slowly try to harmonize processes, and I think we are still in that place. We are already a lot further, but right now we are still trying to find the optimal solution for each country and PriceFX helps in creating global transparency, but also providing specific solutions for local countries. We started seeing the result already in the very first year, although I have to say in the very first year we piloted PriceFX only in two countries and we did see results in those countries. On a global scale, to be quite honest, this is currently hard to decipher because as you know we started using PriceFX four years ago. Four years ago we did see the first results uh, in the pilot countries and afterwards COVID hit, which affected our business a lot, so it's hard to differentiate. Nevertheless, the quantitative input is positive and the qualitative feedback is especially positive. So we do have a tool that's easy to use and that provides a lot of information to the actual people who are setting prices. I don't want to go into too much detail here, but we're thinking about logging in information from PriceFX into our quoting solution. We have self-built quoting solution and we try to harmonize our price setting and provide profound and good specific information to the sellers. So basically our sales team at the point of sale and they might come out of price fix. This is something we're currently investigating. In general, give it some time and understand uh, the logics behind it. I think it's very important and key that you know how the software works and which logics work. And the second part is don't make it too complicated because afterwards, I, or we follow the principle that everything that we do should be explainable on one or two slides to the end users, which are in our terms marketing managers or sales managers. So it shouldn't be too complex, but it should still gather the most important specific local requirements.